Hey Stampers, this is Maggie from ilovepapercrafts.com. I'm super stoked because the new catalog started this weekend. And these are your bonus projects for our online party for Sunday. I promised you that on Sunday I would post special project and here they are. So these are just three different cards I have made with the super popular Chalk Talk set. And this is one actually comes with coordinating framelits. Now I didn't get to pre-order the framelits so I've been suffering and cutting them out. But when you order this, you definitely, definitely want the framelits. I'm going to be showing this a lot because there's so many great techniques we can do with it. I'm very, very excited. But anyways, I want to share these cards with you. I'm just going to show you a couple tips and tricks. So this one here, we've used some washi tape. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a new product, really easy to use. I wasn't sure if I'd like it, but I really love that it's so flat and it just creates... Um, some great visual interest and in. I will be featuring it a lot. So this is a card I got the uh, layout idea from my friend Daylene. I'm going to show you how to assemble all the layers. So you're just going to take the doily. This is a gingham garden paper and I've cut it out with a three inch circle on the big shot. And then I've already gone ahead and stamped. I just can't, I can't thank you enough. You're going to add a little snail. And you're just going to line it up to one side because you really want to have that paper showing. And then we'll take this as the washer. And literally, you'll see it's just like tape. So you're just going to take a little piece of that. And we're just going to lay it right across. Oh, this is a little short, but we'll just. You know what? I'm the boss. I can use more tape. And you know what? That piece I can just stick somewhere else and use on another project. So we're going to cut a little more than we did last time. We're going to line that up over top, just do a little bit of the white tucking it untucked. And then we are going to take our friend, the staple gun. I really fancy stapler. I taught this card during uh, my sneak peek and the girls were laughing at my stapler. They're like, wow, that's really high tech. I used to have to do payroll for my son's daycare. And well, I didn't have to, I volunteered, but let me tell you, that was quite a gig. We should get together over drinks and I'll tell you about that sometime. But I had to staple a lot of pay stubs, so uh, I invested in a nice stapler. So then you're just going to take that, stick it on your card, and that's it. And So don't be afraid to use a staple on a card. You can see it just adds a little bit of extra. So the next card here, I don't have too, too much to show you. This is the Soho Subway paper. I love... And then the pistachio pudding paper with this cute little label. And both come right out of the site. See, I stuck the washi tape right there. So I just cut this out. And then that's the uh, oval punch. So that is super cute. And then this little embellishment are the very vanilla buttons, which um, after you watch this video, comment by the end of the day on Monday, June 4th. And one of you will be entered to win this package of buttons. Love them. And uh, I've seen someone dye them. They're going to be really cool. And then I've just cut this out, put it together with some dimensionals and a little bit of embossing. So the last card here, I love this card, really bright and sunny. You can see I've actually done the chalkboard feature with the white on black paper. And I've just embossed the front with the perfect polka dots thing. Now, you can see at the top of the label, there's this, which is going to be great if you're doing a finish, finish touch on a bag or something. But I actually wanted to cover it up on my card. So I, what I did is I came up with this little flower. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to take the one and a quarter scallop circle. And you can do this with any of your scallop circles. And then the little scallop circle, the seven eighths. I'm just going to punch one of each of those. Boop, boop. And then you're just going to take your paper snips. I say, and then just, and then just. I'm going to stop that. I need video training. No, I don't. If you don't like this, how I speak, please don't watch these videos. Go watch someone else. Oh, I'm in quite a mood today, aren't I? It's been that kind of couple weeks. So you're just going to take... Don't worry, guys. I'm fine. I'm always just super sarcastic. I don't always show it in my videos, but oh, a little bit sarcastic by nature. So you're just going to cut that so you create that. And then just bend up those. And uh, honestly, these two little scallop circles, when we came out with them, I thought, what am I going to use those for? I'm never going to use them. Yeah, okay, Maggie. I should know. If it's a punch, don't even question it. And did you see all the new punches? You got a label punch, a hexagon punch. Oh, the punch party will be going on. And then let's not even talk about those new framelits. Whew, I got problems. So I will be looking underneath this video for comments. I seem to comment it wherever it is posted, and I will take them all. I will tabulate. And sometimes I don't get very many comments, so you can have really good odds. 
and then we are going to just stick this little guy together and then you're going to put that on top of your label and you are just going to add that sweet sweet little well it's not little it's actually a jumbo rhinestone I don't know if they call them jumbo or large but I call them jumbo because it sounds more exciting and that's it we're just, so there are your th three fun chalk talk cards there is an accompanying handout with all the directions and supplies if you want to order any of the supplies just remember if you order by the end of the day Sunday you can win prizes because it's a party right so that's kind of like your loot bag and I actually just had a birthday party for my son this weekend and um, I had to do bir uh, birth birthday loot bags for them loot bags are a Canadian thing if you're American uh, apparently my American friends tell me they're, they're called like favorite bags or something else anyways I had to do those and I filled them with candy so consider this kind of like your candy from the party and uh, I'll send you home with a balloon if you come live. Thank you so much for checking this out. Uh, thank you so much for being part of the online launch party. If you're watching this after the launch party, don't you worry. I will be having more launch parties because this has been so much fun. Anyways, take care. Bye.